about to catch another flight. Uh. Ladies and gentlemen, I am back with you guys with another video. And this time, I will be sharing the introduction to a new journey, to a new place. And I'm heading today to my hometown. I'm originally from Lahore, Pakistan. I am heading there. I am on the flight. I have sat down in my seat. And as you can see here, I got a seat by the window. So that's great. Enjoy the journey with me. Enjoy the flight. I'm preparing myself for takeoff soon. My flight should be leaving shortly. The captain has spoken and said we will be leaving very soon. So prepare yourself for takeoff. This is a huge moment for me because I don't travel often and I want to share my experience with you guys on how international flights are. But to begin, I just would like to say that I was having an issue with the people that check you in at baggage check-in um, regarding a vaccination card. Now, it's February of 2023. I was not aware that you still need to show a vaccination card to travel um, anywhere. After fussing a little bit with them, I was able to go ahead and get the green light to continue to be boarded because I drove two hours just to get to the airport and this trip has been planned for plenty of months. Plenty of time has been put in to get here so I was not going to turn back and allow them to treat me this way. But that's just a step one. Um, tune in guys, I'm going to continue to share my trip with you guys and my experience along the way. If you haven't done so, like, comment, and subscribe. Talk to you guys and see you guys soon. Gentlemen, all right, ladies and gentlemen, we are getting ready for takeoff. And did I mention to you guys, this is my first time flying with Turkish airline. If you didn't know, now you know. So I'm gonna let you guys know the seating is super comfortable. I'm not going to say super because I did take economy class. As you can see the seats here behind me, these things, they kind of fold. Uh, I'm going to give you guys a, a little feeling of this. And um, watch this. As you guys can see, these chairs kind of fold in so it's easier for someone to rest their head so I guess if you're not falling onto your passenger you know and giving them um, a run for your money if you know what I mean but this the feed space isn't too bad um, as, as I mentioned of course we're in economy so you only get so much space in the feet but um, so far we as you can see here we are moving, I don't know if you can tell, we being are. by the window, it's always a good feeling, so I'm going to enjoy my flight. Yeah, I'm going to go and probably put on a movie and check in with you guys shortly. Alright guys, continue to like, comment, and subscribe. Alright ladies and gentlemen. The plane is officially in the air, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a nap because I have a long flight. 10 hours from um, America to where I'm heading right now is Istanbul, Turkey. Uh, it's gonna be a 10 hour flight, so we're gonna go ahead and recharge. And unfortunately, my layover to my next destination is almost 7 hours which is gonna be crazy but um, I heard and no I know I know myself that Istanbul Turkey people are really sweet and, and beautiful so let's hope we're gonna make some guys so I received my first package from the airline um, the plane has given out the first package so we're gonna show you off here as you can see I got the menu so they know the passengers are getting hungry because I am getting hungry we have the passengers and give the menu. We're gonna take a look at that in a minute. But we also received this small, cool looking uh, pouch, almost looks like a little mini purse, which is, I actually like the, um, the outlayer on it. It looks very neat, very creative. I, I'm assuming this is the country 
um, of Istanbul, Turkey here. I like that they're you know showing off the country in a beautiful way. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up now and see what's inside. And as you can see here, it is zip tied, so you know this is brand new. So we're gonna go ahead and take this apart. Okay, take off the lock. This is the lock. Okay, and now we're gonna go ahead and there's another. Actually, there's another small lock, but we have to rip it apart. There we go. Now we will open. Okay. And let's see here. Oh wow! First thing we have is the toothbrush, toothpaste, essentials. We need that. Thank you guys. We appreciate this. Second, we have here. Let's see. Another mini pouch. Um, it's actually made up in a little pouch. But we got here something to use to, you know, if you wanna, you know, take a little nap. All right, not yet, not yet. So we're gonna put that to the side, but thank you, I appreciate it. I like the, the unique color. I'm gonna figure out what that represents. All right, and last but not least, we have here, oh, actually there's a few more items here I'm gonna talk about. We have a red pair of socks. I'm gonna use these when my feet get warm, but currently I have my own socks on, but I appreciate this, guys. Thank you so much. All right, let's move on real fast. Oh, we got here vegan lip balm very unique I like the color green tea that's amazing I my lips do get chappy so we're gonna use this so thank you guys for this I appreciate this and last but not least we have the earbuds and as everyone know on any flight it can get really loud and we already have some kids on board that seem to be crying so this may come in handy so I appreciate you guys for this as well and I believe that Oh wait, I lied. There's one last thing. We got the slides, baby. We got the slides. So this is definitely for comfort. Sandals, sandals, excuse me. Yes, perfect, perfect. The best part is to watch the new movies that haven't even released yet, or have released, but to watch them for free, on your flight, that's the best part. Currently I'm watching a new Thor movie and it looks freaking great. Alright guys, I have the menu here that is being served by the Turkish Airlines and let's see what's on the menu today. Let's start off with the looks let's look at the overlay of the actual menu and all the shakiness going on that is um, some bad weather we're experiencing currently the the pilot has announced so let's get back to the menu starting with the menu the way it's described you have the Turkish language and you have the English language alright but real quick I'm just gonna flip to the back side it's going to be much easier for me to show you guys. We have the Turkish language on top. We have the English language on the bottom. And since I cannot speak Turkish, I'm going to let you guys know what their service in English. So they're serving, when it comes to the beverages, we have the juices, which include orange juice, sour cherry juice, apple juice. And from the choices of soft drinks, they're offering cola, cola sugar free mineral water and milk and for my hot drinks lovers you have the of all time favorite tea and coffee and for some few selected Turkish and international wines for the people who enjoy these alcohol beverages they have beer as well guys they have beer but me personally, I'm gonna stick with the water or the tea or the coffee or the juice. Maybe I'll get some soda. But no beer or no wine for me, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's go ahead and get this menu opened and let's see what they're offering for us today. Excuse me, as I mentioned, we're experiencing a little turbulence, but not to worry. Again, we have the menu in Turkish language on the left 
English, English on the right. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys, beginning from the top, what they're serving today. We're having garden fresh salad. We're having sumac chicken breast and eggplant salad. We're also having stirred fried beef with steamed rice and rice vegetables. Or you can get our shade with tomato sauce, fried aborigine and zucchini. And let's go for dessert, coffee and caramel crumble cake, which sounds not too bad, but I gotta try it before I can give you my review on that. And before landing, they're gonna go ahead and give us some of that good fresh fruit, some of that good old assorted cheese, and then a good, strong, healthy breakfast should always include an omelet with cheddar and tomato, sauteed potatoes and mushrooms and grilled tomatoes. That actually sounds good right now. And we also have the butter jam, which will come on bread for the people who like to take it easy on breakfast. All right, guys, so that's what the Turkish airline has provided us tonight on the menu. All right, guys, dinner is served. We have orange juice, lots of bread. We have dessert. That's the reviews are in I just finished dinner and I'm gonna give my dinner a 6 out of 10 um, the reason I say that is because the dessert was kind of dry the rice in my beef was a little dry as well um, but overall I was hungry so I ate it but um, the bread has some taste but definitely needed butter so thanks for the butter Turkish Airline we appreciate that. Best part about the dinner was salad because it had, you know, a bunch of different vegetables like black olives. Although it wasn't a great huge portion, but black olives are healthy for you. So thanks for that. Appreciate that. Um, last but not least, the orange juice was cool. I appreciate the orange juice. I don't know if that was really part of the dinner or not. Um, but again, I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. Turkish Airline, let's do better next time. But thank you guys. And gentlemen, I am using the airplanes in the Turkish Airline restaurant for the first time. And I'm gonna give you a little tour. This is the sink, a little area space here. We have the lavatory amenities here. We have your soap your smell goods right here and where I'm standing at is where um, there's a little bit of stuff going on at the bottom there's the toilet you push that you'll go your stuff go flushing down okay ladies and gentlemen got some more paper towels right here for the people who need some accessibility while they're using the restroom we got some handles right here right here behind me is the door as you can see right now it is locked because it's occupied um, above me is a ventilation system going on uh, for the most part pretty tight space so if you're someone that's um, oversized or a a big person this will be very tight for you me personally I'm about five seven excuse me five eight um, I'm not gonna tell you my weight but um, I'm not a pretty big guy but I fit comfortably in 
and yeah, this is my tour of the restroom on the airplane. Top of the morning to everyone. Good morning. We are awake. We have currently an hour and 22 minutes left until we arrive in Turkey. And they have just served us the breakfast. So I will share with you guys that. All right, here we are with the breakfast. This is the omelet. Let me show you guys. looks quite fresh all right we have the potatoes we have cheese with cucumber tomato we have some fresh fruit of course the bread and the silverware I decided to go with the tea this morning and of course some water ladies and gentlemen stay tuned for the review of the breakfast rating time rating time the breakfast in my opinion was a little bit better than dinner um, because me personally I like to start my day off with some good protein and um, it had the fresh omelet with cheese which wasn't too bad with potatoes and I also had some fresh fruit along with some cucumbers and cheese, which is unique for me. I usually don't have that type of breakfast, uh, but honestly kind of needed it because I have a seven hour layover until my next flight. And so currently we're almost in Istanbul, Turkey. We have 30 minutes remaining and we've been told the plane is descending to and so and so we have to fasten our seat belts um, and before I let you guys go I brush my teeth because I needed to be super fresh before I get off the plane um, a lot of people choose to wait till they get off and find a near um, you know a bigger restroom to use which is cool but you gotta brush your teeth in the morning ladies and gentlemen fresh breath is always needed in the morning after breakfast time especially um, and not to mention the omelet included mushrooms which was cool because mushrooms are also good for you and yeah I had tea to top it off with the tea wasn't too bad so I am gonna say 7 out of 10 for the breakfast and again thank you Turkish Airlines for having me this has been a great experience thank you and we got the window blinds open I'm gonna show you guys get a get a closer look of the clouds. It's beautiful out there. As you can see the sky, we're right above the clouds. It's an amazing sight to see. These are the moments that are just breathtaking. So, I'm sorry again. Also your seat back up right. As I was saying, this has been a tremendous experience for me. Um, along halfway along my flight I realized my seat reclines back which was awesome because as you can see here it's very tight seating I did take the economy class but hey man you get what you pay for so um, overall my experience wasn't too bad I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10 because um, it was a pleasant ride great movie choice I had a good uh, neighbor so, overall, it's a good experience. Thank you again, Turkish Airlines. Hope to fly with you guys soon again. Take care. And the plane is descending. It is going towards landing. As I mentioned, we have about 25 minutes now remaining. And as I'm looking out of my window, you guys can clearly see the clouds and the plane is right above it. This is the true definition of my head is in the clouds. And I must say, I like it up here. And you can see the, the wing of the plane tilt. What a beautiful view to capture on video. Before I end my 
video about my experience with Turkish Airlines. I will say one thing um, that I did notice was this. My tray is kind of, as you can see here, uneven. And I observed this because I noticed my past, my fellow neighbor's tray was even. So I, I assume mine is broken. But I did not make a fuss about it. I did not complain about it because I tend to complain less this year and be more humble. So I would just like to throw that in there. Turkish Airline, if you can, get this fixed for the next person because they might be not so nice as me. Thank you. Overall, um, the flight attendants were very nice, very sweet. But um, one thing I will mention is that I did not have many people, I did not have any flight attendants come and check up on me personally. Um, I don't know about other passengers, but that is something to keep in mind. Um, this was a, almost a 10 hour flight, so I was not expecting it, but it would have been nice to have someone check up on you periodically just to make sure you're doing fine. But overall, they were very sweet. But nonetheless, I enjoyed my time uh, because I make the best of everything that comes my way. And you guys should always appreciate the small things. As always guys, peace and love, stay humble. I will see you guys on the next video. Peace. We are about to land in Istanbul, Turkey. Let's take a look from the sky, from the airplane's window. Looks to me like it's a little cloudy out there. Might be a little chilly, but I'm excited to see how the airport looks. I've heard it's really big. I heard it's a lot of things in there to check out. More interested in looking to see how the people of Turkey are. I've been told they're very sweet people, and so far so good. So I'd like to see the country itself what they have to offer. Unfortunately, I won't have enough time to get out and actually see the place um, because I thought my flight was going to be a seven hour layover, but it's actually a four hour layover. So, and I hope you guys can hear me loud and clear because it's very loud as you guys know on the plane. My microphone actually died on me, but I gotta find a way to charge it. But I just want to show you guys a visual of what Istanbul, Turkey looks like from a sky view as you're coming down on the airplane. about to land ladies and gentlemen I, I can feel the tires about to touch the ground in about five four three two one we have landed Woohoo! all right guys see you guys shortly. thank you guys so much for watching my video I really, really appreciate it. Make sure you guys subscribe. And if you haven't already done so, tell your friends and family about it. Thanks again.